Welcome, this is David with another video and you're watching BTEC. And this video is sponsored by Direct Mobiles. You can check them out at directmobiles.co.uk. This is the new Huawei MateBook D. Now this is the 14 inch version of the device with a larger memory option of 512 gigs and it comes in at a price of £649.99. There is also a 15.4 inch which is priced at £599.99. The laptop comes with fairly minimal packaging. Inside the box you'll find the laptop itself, the power brick and the charging cable, all of which are very small and easy to tuck away into your bag for travelling. First impressions about the design is that it is a very well made thing. All metal chassis with very nice matte finish throughout. Kind of saves a bit on the grubby fingerprints. Open the lid and we get a really nice sort of matte finish, anti-glare coated screen, giving it very good viewing potential in bright sunlight and viewing angles of 178 degrees. It is a 16 by nine IPS LCD panel with 1080p resolution. And it really is just about the biggest screen that you will find on a laptop this small. The keys are the only part that are plastic. They have a short travel and I find it quite comfortable and easy to type on. There is a big touchpad underneath the keyboard, which is clickable and will know what mouse button you want depending on what side of the touchpad you click. The design is very thin. The screen is just 4.8 millimeters. With the lid closed, it's 15.9 millimeters on the 14 inch and just one more millimeter on the 15 inch. It is also very light. On the left side, we've got one USB type C connector, which is also your power input. The MateBook D uses what just looks like an oversized phone charger. And this 65 watt brick will also power your phone. Although not at the supercharging speed that you would get with some of the Huawei flagships, but it will register as quick charging, even if your phone is not a Huawei. We also have a normal USB 2.0 and a HDMI output. On the back, there's nothing at all, which is useful because it also allows the MateBook D to fully open up. And because it's so light, you can kind of hold it in one hand, kind of like a tablet. On the right side, all we have is another USB connector and a 3.5 millimeter jack. So a little bit sparse when it comes to connections, but that is kind of offset by the NFC capabilities of this laptop a system that Huawei call OneHot, although it will only work with certain Huawei and Honor smartphones, and I'll come to that in a bit. On the right side of the keyboard is the power button, which also has a fingerprint scanner embedded for very quick access, and it is really nice to have a feature like this, and it really does work extremely well. The boot up times are super fast, even from powered down completely, just open the lid, touch the button, and it will boot up and unlock in just a few seconds. Of course, it has Huawei's signature hidden webcam, which is under a centrally placed key on the top row and is marked with a camera symbol. The design means that the air fence are positioned underneath and the whole thing is kept slightly off the ground by some rubber feet, which blend nicely into the metal casing. In the time that I've been using it, the design seems sound and I haven't had any problems with it getting warm. I think it's a great design and I love how lightweight it is. I mean, I'm coming from an MSI Apache with a GTX 1070 in it. It weighs about three times as much as this and has a battery life of about half an hour. But you'll be glad to know that you'll be getting a lot more than half an hour's battery out of this laptop. So far, it seems to be lasting about six to seven hours, but I should stress that it really does depend on what you're doing, obviously. Doing things like gaming and editing video will kill your battery much faster. But for most of the things that people will be doing with this type of laptop, I think you'll be very happy with the battery life. If you own a Huawei or an Honor smartphone, then you'll also be really happy with the one hop feature, which now mimics your phone screen and allows you to quickly connect to transfer files just by clicking and holding and then dragging across to whichever folder you want to place it in. If you don't have a Huawei smartphone, this feature might make you want to get one. It really is a nice, easy way of transferring both photos and videos. And it's fast too, as you'll see when I transfer these few seconds of 4K video shot on the Huawei P30. Not on the P30 Pro, I thought I'd use the P30 for a change. This really is an underrated phone, which is kind of overshadowed by the brilliant P30 Pro. Controlling the phone via the PC takes a little bit of getting used to because it responds to swipe gestures just as the phone does. So you kind of have to click and hold and swipe down, for example, to get your notifications tray, but it doesn't take long to get used to. One hop is a great feature. The only thing that bothers me about it is the fact it will only work with Honor and Huawei smartphones, and that's probably unlikely to change. 
The MateBook D14 uses the 12 nanometer AMD Ryzen 5 Mobile 3500U, a four core, eight thread CPU with integrated Radeon Vegas 8 graphics. It has a 2.1 gigahertz clock speed with a boost up to 3.7 gigahertz. This processing chip has a low TDP or thermal design power of 15 watts, and the laptop stays silent most of the time. After a while under heavy load, the very quiet shark fin blade fan kicks in. But on the whole, it is a very quiet laptop. There's eight gigs of DDR4 RAM installed, plenty I would say for the type of user that this machine is aimed at. There is more than enough performance here for everyday general use, and it's great for most students, I would say, easily handling word processing and photo editing tasks. When it comes to video editing, I found that it can easily handle 1080p files. Even with effects applied in Premiere Pro, you still get a smooth playback. Trying to do the same thing with high bitrate 4K video, such as the files that I get from my GH5, does make it struggle with playback, although it is capable of exporting those files and then rendering a 4K video. But here's the thing, I'm using Adobe Premiere, which tends to work better on systems using CUDA-based graphic hardware or NVIDIA cards. There may be graphic softwares out there where this machine could smoothly preview and edit large 4K video files. The MateBook D's chipset can handle gaming too. It shows okay performance on the graphic intensive games that I've played it on, but you have to drop the graphics quality settings down pretty low, but the frame rates do stay pretty high. But then I feel like the screen is definitely adding to the gameplay experience with its very thin bezels. In fact, I'm starting to notice how good the screen really is when playing games on it. But for the big titles, you might have to tweak the settings a bit to get a smooth gameplay. In this game, Titanfall 2, when I reset it to the recommended settings, it resulted in the graphics being set too high, and it really gave me choppy and quite unplayable game. Once I turned it down to more realistic settings, it actually played really well, probably a bit more smoother than I'm used to seeing it on my high spec machine with a larger screen, which again points to the quality of that display. Overall, I think that this is a very capable laptop for the money that covers the majority of consumer users' desktop needs. And on top of that, it's got a beautiful design, a very thin keyboard and top panel, minimalistic design with no air vents on the back. I like the way it opens out fully and how unbelievably light it is. I think that the screen though is the main event. It's great that you can see the screen even in direct sunlight and it's quite hard to fault. If I could be hypercritical, I would mark it down for not having a touchscreen like last year's MateBook. The more I use the one hop feature, the more I like it. Just make sure that you don't take off that Huawei share sticker because that is part of the NSC system and it won't work if you take it off. If you want a laptop for school or for uni or just a laptop for the home office, something to do a little bit of light browsing or word processing, stream some videos on or even play some games, MateBook D14 is absolutely perfect. It's great for programs like Photoshop and Illustrator. As long as you stick to 1080p with video, you should find it good enough to edit video on the go. I think that my favorite thing about this device is its portability. Its size and weight means that even on a crowded bus or a plane, you could still get this out and do some work. If you're like me and you're used to carrying around a big 17.5 inch laptop with the huge charger and everything else, then you will absolutely love this laptop and I recommend making the switch. The mobile phone size charger and USB type C cable will also quick charge your phone and not just Huawei phones, as long as your phone supports quick charge, it will give you the faster charging speed. But it's also really light and it's just so easy to carry around. For a price of just over 600 pounds, I think you get a lot for your money. If you are a high-end power user, or you want to edit video, or you want to use 3D graphics software, then I would stay away from this one. But if you're like the majority of people and you use your computer for normal things, and maybe if you're a student, then this one comes recommended. Okay, that's it from me. Thanks for watching my review about the MateBook D14. And of course, for the best mobile deals, make sure you check out the Direct Mobile's website. The best place to look for your mobile phone as you can compare all of the available deals with all the different networks, all there in the one website. Plus they have over 24 years of award-winning customer service, so you can't go wrong. Direct Mobiles is there to find you the best possible price. You can find their link in the description below, or you can search directmobiles.co.uk. Also, there is the link to the BTEC Amazon shop where you'll find all of our favorite tech and accessories. Everything there is recommended by us. You'll find the MateBook D14 on there as well. If you choose to buy through the BTEC Amazon shop, then you'll be helping us out and supporting the channel. The BTEC Amazon shop is definitely worth checking out. And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe for more BTEC. Follow me on social media. 
I'm David. This is BTECT. <laughs>